Welcome back everyone. Today we're gonna do the Rushlight Tournament, but before you go there, if you plan on going there, you should really save up as much money as possible because there's a lot of good vendors there. Also, there's a lot of skill checks, so if you can buff up your skills in some way, that's a very good thing to do. Let's just jump into the game shell. Okay, so we have a lot of talking here to do after the ball tilt up, it seems like. We'll see. In what order they will appear. Uh, hello, Lindsay. Uh... Lindsay excitedly waves around a letter written in neat handwriting on expensive stationery. I have news! Take a look! Aerovetic, King of Pitax, sent you an invitation to the Rushlight Tournament. We're not going to miss it, right? And you're taking me, of course. Uh, all the high society of Pitax will be there, including the people from the academy. Maybe an even headmaster Italian guitarin. Is he a guitar master? Uh, I love to see... Her face when she hears about the book Professor Eobald is writing with me. Okay. Sure. Uh... What is this tournament? Rebetti holds once in several years. Guests come from all nearby countries. I haven't been there personally, but I hear it's a lot of fun. Okay. Uh, interesting. Well, if I have time, why not? Uh, great. Trap or no, it'll at least be a ton of fun. You'll take me with you, right? Pretty please. Okay. And now we can go there. Perfect. And go to Pitax. Finally. Dragon Gore and Octavia. Okay. Remember those books from Maestro Janusz Stadio? Uh, we'd hoped to find something about our past in them. Well, we did. And I'm kind of sorry we looked. We actually found something, but it's a sensitive conversation. We'll wait for you in the palace garden near the viewing point. Okay. Sure. Is that it? No. Oh. Item received 18,800. Wow. No matter what cursed uh, the denizens on the first world cast upon you, no matter what cruel tactics they used, you repel them all with your valor. Bravo, your highness. Accept this humble gift as a sign of gratitude from your subjects. Thank you. Whatever Nurissa has planned, I'm sure we can handle it. Each of her attacks is stronger than last, but we're getting stronger too. Christian whispers is barely audible. In any case, it won't be long. Uh, why do you think the caps keep getting more dangerous? I think Narissa has been playing with us. If she attacked at full strength a few years ago, when the uh, barony of girl with the flag lance was still in the cradle, we couldn't possibly be, have endured. I bet she still needed to keep us alive for something. But now that we lost our usefulness, she decided to finish us off. I have a different theory. This curse from Bald Hilltop is an unstable portal, bridging between Golaria and the First World. And the more it is used, the more firmly it anchors, an anchor it becomes, which allows Nerissa to send through more and more powerful armies. I think you're both right. The stability of the portal does play an important role in the increasing power of Nerissa's attacks. However, it is true that she allowed the barony girl with Flaglands to get on his feet, at least when it was newly formed. Uh... Can we use the portal on the ball here to get to the first well and battle Nerissa? Alas, not yet. The passage between worlds is not reliable. We can't be sure where it will take us or if it will activate at all. Such is the nature of an unstable first world portals. Such a portal is unreliable even for the denizens of the first world. We only see a small portion of the hordes that Nerissa sends through the portal that to attack us. Nerissa doesn't care what happens to the countless who go missing. However, with each attack the portal becomes more and more stable. I could imagine that soon the passage will become a steady bridge between Golaren and the First World. You only need to wait for that moment to attack. Uh, how soon until she brings everything upon us? I'd assume her strength has nearly reached its peak. We might not be there yet, but the next assault will surely be especially dangerous. We must prepare for Nurse's next attack. We'll prepare for it. Well, just let her try and come us out again. We'll beat her back where she came from. I'll cap our victory by writing a song about her. A really funny and embarrassing one. Everyone in the first world will be singing it for her. Okay. Seems good. Erebeti, king of Pitax, invited our queen to a tournament. But why? A demonstration of neighborly amiability, perhaps? Unlikely. The ruler of Pitax was renowned for his devious style. Okay. Let's see her. Before we go in here, we should camp. Camp and hunt, and hope we're not getting assaulted here. Okay. Fashions. Saving. That's perfect. Let's go. Rushlight Fields. 
Let's meet King Irovetti. The Italian... I don't know what, what, is, what his deal is. He's a king. The Italian king. <laughs> Pitox king. Okay. Well, hello. You have a shovel on your back? <laughs> Castruccio Iroetti. Castruccio Iroetti. Greets you personally. The bulky Kelly is broad-shouldered and looks to be somewhere around 50 years of age. His golden crown sits on a long, greasy hair above a heavily powdered face covered in bristle, and his expensive doublet is stained with oily spots. He guffaws as he squeaks you uh, in a bear hug, enveloping you in the mixed scents of sweet wine and expensive perfume. Well, my crown-bearing sister, welcome to my home. Hmm. Stuff yourself, drink, be my guest. You've proven yourself in combat as well as affairs of state. Pat Irobetti on the back. I'm happy to finally meet you. <laughs> it's no good for kings and queens to stay in our palaces all the time. We need to meet, be friends with one another. It's all about keeping up neighborly relations, you know. So here's the plan. First... The fish's triathlon, then a boasting contest, and in the evening, the best part, <laughs> a drunken melee. In the interim, there'll be a buffet, a fair, jugglers, acrobats, all the usual entertainment. And after the melee, I'll announce the winner, and then we'll have a festive banquet and a fireworks show. <laughs> then we just drink till morning or find a tent to crawl into. Your own or someone else's, depending on your luck. By the way, a knockout such... Oh, the sound was too low. <laughs> will always be okay. welcome in my tent. Uh, Sorry. <laughs> just joking. Just a joke. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, and one more thing. I'll have to seal your sheath. This is a peaceful celebration, after all, and bullies will be kicked out immediately. It doesn't matter if it's a king who decided to kick up a row or just a shopkeeper. So behave yourself and don't start any fights while you're here. Oh, it's fine. Well, I have to go. If you need anything, talk to Nunzio or Fire. He is my master of ceremonies, so he's responsible for organizing this mess. <laughs> Have fun. Okay. Participate in the first contest of the tournament. Sure. Time becomes distance. Where do we do that? Well, Brave first of all, we should... the foot spell all this waiting is choice. what you always you do Time's first. Not no mistakes. No matter what. Together we stand. I am For this, I don't need this probably. How oh, about I have an arm here? Trader, okay. Where's? Ring of protect. Wow. <laughs> okay. What is this? The bearer of this ring can, after resting while wearing it, activate up to four abilities. From this list below. Removing the ring will immediately remove all bonus from it. Okay. Circumstance bonus. Wow. This is so expensive. I could never buy it though. This spell makes first, second, and third level spells cost by word. Empowered and extended. Okay, that's insane. Okay. Strength, Dexterity, and Constitution. Wow, okay. Well, everything here is simply amazing. Well, we can't afford anything, though. <laughs> it's just, these items are way too expensive. There's nothing we can afford here. Well, well thank, you for, uh, thank you for showing What's me them, but we want? really have no monies. Drunk bully. A uh, young man staggers towards you. Uh, watch yourself. What do you think you're... Your pig, you trampled on my foot and ruined my doublet. Hick, I'm gonna... I demand satisfaction. Intimidate. 36. Best not anger me. 
I put away more people and monsters than you have bottles over the course of uh, your wasted lifetime. Get out of here while you still can. 6,000 experience! We're putting a bully straight, okay. Oh, sorry, I think I uh, confused you with someone else. Sorry, mistake. These things happen. Wow, that's... That's 6,000 experience. Wow! Guess that was the most <laughs> impactful moment of this poor woman's Trail. life. When that happened. Karn Verl. Who are you? Uh, what is that you sell? Uh, you dirty thief. Uh, who might you recommend I meet there? No one. Everyone. How should I know? Okay, sure. Go have fun. Well, I will. Step, step, step. Okay. Eavesdrop from a distance. Oh, that will never. Approach the two openly. Two huddle near one another as they speak, and due to an ambient laughter and music, you can only overhear part of the conversation. Up to Amor, but I know that look. You're planning something. Talwin, this celebration is just we had planned for, but we can't really just stand by. I've seen it with my own eyes, and it's especially like you. Pitax needs now is action. In, okay. It's a rare day that life emulates screenplay, your highness. Could it be that the heroes have arrived in the people's time of need? Uh, seems to be the problem. First arrived there five years ago answering to King Ervetti's call for artists and actors to make Pitax a new crucible for the arts. Admittedly, the king dedicated plenty of money to building a new theaters and schools. Art only thrives, though, when there are visitors and patrons to pay for it. Uh, and that's where Ervetti has failed. The Pitax River is our lifeline, connecting us to the outside world. River pirates know it and they prey upon incoming travelers. You might think the king would thwart these pirates and defend his people, but no. He's only sent escorts to protect the key shipments, leaving everyone else to pirates' depredations. This tournament, it hides how we suffer from the king's inaction. Okay. Uh, now when the king's soldiers cannot... Or will not vanquish the villains. What happens in these stories? That's right, heroes step in. Numerous victims have told me of the attacks and I've pieced together the approximate location of the pirates camp. If you can ambush and defeat them, traffic will flow. Commerce will thrive and you'll command, command the adoration of the boatmen, dock workers, artists and more. Naturally, I'm prepared to write a play dramatizing your exploits. What do you say? Um, I'm always ready to thwart river pirates. I accept. Then it's settled. I'll write down the directions real quick, and when you're done, you meet me in Pitax, so I can hear your account. No doubt the magistrate will be pleased to stop getting RC complaints too. I hope you'll arrive in time to see my latest production. Speaking of which, I'm only late to oversee its rehearsal. Okay. Uh, ah, consider this a little preview. Good hunting. Okay, sure. Sure, 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 sure. Well, that's... That's nice. Quest. Galton. Galton guest. Okay. Pitax warden. Okay. Goblin merchant. Hello. Show me your wares. Camping supplies. How many camping supplies do we have though? 21. We can buy some more. 23 or something. Yeah, maybe I have 27. That's fine. We're still lightly encumbered. Thank you, little goblin man. Nice of you. Share your uh, very valuable camping supplies. Okay. Dock worker. Walsh Callaway. Several concerned dock workers crowd around a finely dressed half elf who listens to the workers with imperious dignity. Uh, it's as we've been telling you, Judge. This this is the third ship in the two months they've stolen from us. Can't keep it up, doesn't matter how good the last year's business. No cargo means no pay, and no pay means no new shipments. We asked about the thefts before, and there's nothing changed. Uh, where's the king's justice, your honor? Uh, wow, that's a lot of text. Let's skip that. Uh, may the king's law guide you at the Rushlight tournament today. I'm clearly addressing someone important, but I don't believe we met. I am the Honorable Walsh Callaway. Magistrate of Pitax, judge of the people's co concerns, and executor of the king's justice. Uh, I heard you over heard you talking about stolen shipments. Is there a problem? Ah, yes. 
Uh, an outbreak of river piracy has caused some consternation among the citizens. Simply avoid or exercise caution near little town in the meantime. Uh, perhaps Pitax would benefit from somebody who has a history of vanquishing bandits. Let us be clear. Pitax armed forces are entirely capable of handling these criminals. There's no need for would-be heroes, aspiring vigilants, vigilantes to get involved. Much less foreign interests. I recommend enjoying the rest of the festival. Fine, ain't you? That guy seems like a douchebag. Sure. Next. Next guy to talk to. Pitax Warden. No backwards, backwards. These guys don't have names, so we can't talk to them. Oh, well, he can't talk to them. Oh, there's a big, big map here. Okay, yeah, you can get out there if you want to. Okay. Step, step, step. We'll do this. In the order no one expected us to go. No <laughs> mistakes. Don't think we're expected to go. <laughs> Covering the borders, okay. Hey, you can't be here. This is high... High Highness King Irvetis camp. Uh, I'm aware he's the one who invited me. I'm not supposed to allow anyone in. If the king commands it, we will. But at this point, could be a thief for what we know. Uh, I think I'll be lost. I must, I'll I'll go. Trail me. Do, I do not really care to go into his chambers, really. Okay. This guy seems like people you could talk to. I heard so much about you. Okay. Oh, girl with flag. The famous baroness. No, excuse me. The queen of girl with flaglands. Has come with us. It's such a delight to see her. Um... <laughs> you look like a spy. <laughs> well, this will be so fun when I get here with <laughs> my uh... <laughs> with my evil party some point and i'll just attack everyone uh tell me are the songs you composed for irveti as bold as the ones you sang at my capital and my humble verses so offended you that you still recall their sting please your highness doesn't behoove a person of your standing to take umbrage against a petty bard don't you know the old proverb the tunes are chosen by the ones who pace the piper okay who might you recommend i meet here that depends on what you're looking for. If you're in the mood for a pleasant company, oh well, you've already met me. And if you're in the mood for a schadenfreude, you could listen to the whining of Gaspar Lianza. His family lost the Pitax crown in a card game. Or maybe Italian guitar and the headmaster of academy who seeks to think her skill at bureaucracy makes her a good bard. And if you, the thrills are what you're after, especially shivers down your spine kind by speaking with Carnivoral, head of the Thieves Guild. Oh, head of the Thieves Guild, huh? Uh, sure. Farewell. They don't seem to have anything. They just seem to have dialogue, which Time doesn't matter, really. <laughs> hey, you can't be there. Uh, I think I must be lost and stuff. Can I be here? Can I talk to this guy? Is that, a, is that fine without any guards? Your Royal Highness, welcome to the Russia tournament. My name is Nuncio Arpaia, and I have the honor of being his... High Highness Irvetis Masters of Ceremonies. You could say the organization of this tournament rests on my shoulders. If you need anything, I'm at your disposal. Uh, I'm ready to participate in the Fisher's Triathlon. Let's begin. Uh, okay, well, we have nothing to do here. Stealth, sure. Or I'll uh, try, try to do stealth. No, that was not, did not pass. Okay, can I do... can talk to him and do everything, or...? Okay. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter much. I mean, you can probably gain a lot of experience if you pass all these, but... Uh... Forwards. doesn't seem... No. It is a Salisni. An elf in leather armor scans the crowd intently. Seems to be the only one at the celebration not participating. Your Highness, welcome to Pitax. Irsay Selesinin, Captain of the Sith Guard, at your service. Uh, you don't seem to be enjoying the celebration. The celebration is for you. For the Sith Guard, it's just another work day. And right now, our work is preventing disruption of the festivities. Uh, I thought Pitax was a city without laws. 
Where do the guards come from? Even pirates and smugglers have laws of a kind, and they need someone to keep uh, their order. The city guard was created by trading houses not long ago after the city was founded. We're paid by the citizens. Not of all of them like us, but they all understand things are better with us than without us. Uh, okay, this is another one who doesn't seem to What's in wait for me there? have anything to share, really. Bookmaker. Uh, okay, come on. Still better vortex of the supernatural. Bets here. Place your bets. <laughs> it can attack everyone. Um, what's going on? What are the rules? <coughs> okay, we'll uh, bet 500 on Mysteriado. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay. Blue team, fireman fit, red team. Okay, Mysteriado. So I guess this guy is the one I'm rooting for, I guess. I can't intervene with this fight, I guess. Can't cast in a fireball or something to change the outcome. I don't think I'm allowed to do it. That's over. Smurgna wins. Okay. Well, I guess I lost then. Okay. Sure. It's a waste of 500 gold. That's we should never gamble. <laughs> this game just made me bitter. They should have rigged it so that you always win or something on the first try. Gaspier Licienza. Our guards, queen with, uh, queen girl with flag. Gaspier Licienza at your service. Uh, we're just gonna do this quickly. We're just gonna click everything here because wow, there's a lot of text here. Okay. Uh, okay, doesn't seem to be much here. We talked to everyone. I've gained all the quests. Dex Warden. Oh yeah, these were the merchants which had all the expensive stuff, which we had no chance in a million years to buy. Unless we come across some very expensive loot. Dagger Mark guest, yep. Parker, okay. Uh, okay, what's going on? Ne know your way. I'll try to pick this. There's no no chance in uh, a million years what's that we'll be able to lock there, picks I anything wonder. with our current skills. A okay, trader. Show me your wares. What the hell is this? <laughs> what the hell is this? Summoning a barb tongued wyvern once per day for 10 minutes. Okay. Mm, and it's HD equals the summoner's character level with a maximum of 16 HD. Oh, that's pretty high, actually. Okay, dealt by the kinetic cysts, simple energy. Okay. Wand of mage armor. 50 shards. We need mass mage armor. Okay, well, that's... These are very good items, probably, but uh, yeah, we have no money. <laughs> we have no money. I'm sorry to say, there uh, weren't much money in this game <laughs> to be had. Well, the little money that we got, we need to spend on BPs. So. No backwards, backwards. so, yeah. I think we've scanned everything. There's a little bit of an area here that we haven't been. Maybe gather here and uh, cast another haste spell. Ready for anything. I am pretty. No, if there's anything here. Okay, there's another trader. Hey, okay, what do you have then? Show me worse. All plus four weapons of every kind you could ever want. Well, these are probably pr pretty decent Trail. if you're some other class than the sorcerer. 
But for a sorcerer, no, it doesn't really do much for us. Okay. Anything here? No. Okay, now I think I've been everywhere. Okay, so I might as well just complete Nuncio Arpaia. Okay, so I've talked to everyone, and I can't go past this because then the guards take me. Maybe I can go around, but I don't, I don't think you're even supposed to go around there. I think you're supposed to go and talk to uh, this guy. Nuncio Arpaia. Just participate. I'm uh, ready to participate in a boasting contest. Sure. Okay, we have, we have a decent chance on the Intimidate check, so we'll do that. Nope. Fail. Okay. Uh, okay. So we're supposed to go here again and participate in the third tournament. We gain a thousand XP for everyone. Probably gain a lot of experience if we succeed one of these roles, but there's... Simply no chance of these rolls being succeeded. Even though we put from the first level we put into Intimidate every <laughs> every level, we still have no chance with this. Um, drunken melee, sure. Would be splendid. Oh, okay. I'll carve my name into your flesh. Uh. Without using weapons, special abilities, or casting spells. Well. Die, die, die! Yeah. Oh. Acts of opportunity. Well. Let the attack commence! I don't think we have such good chances of doing anything. Yeah. What is this? Is all well, this casting blood forbidden, mine? okay. Never thought I had that much. Okay. Yeah, we lost everything. <laughs> Learn the result of the tournament. Yep. Tournament's finished, isn't it? I'd like to know who won. Yes, Rhinus. Look, everyone's gathering around now. Lords and ladies, another Rust Light tournament has come to an end. I'd like to thank all of you who honored this event with your presence. My friends, I'm happy to see all of you, but I'd like to give a special welcome to one guest who found themselves invited here for the first time. Today, we had the Baroness... Uh, no, excuse me. It's Queen now, isn't it? Of a majority of what was once the Stolen Lands. Thank you for coming, my darling. <laughs> I can call you. Right? I thank you with all my heart. Oh, I thank first you. learned of her from my friend Stefano Moscone. To be honest, his report was less than flattering. Impassable swamps, monsters galloping about, and a complete absence of any valuable resources. Nothing more than a dirty hole ruled by another bandit lord, hardly worthy of your attention. That's what he wrote back then. I'm so happy he was wrong. Stefano himself seems to have vanished somewhere in the neighboring domain, unfortunately. Perhaps he met a hydra on his way back, or drowned in the omnipresent mud. Or maybe he just caught the Baroness in a bad mood, eh? <laughs> a joke, a joke. Stefano was a great fellow. It's a pity he joined the many travelers who vanish in those lands each year. Truth be told, even now traveling that domain is a less than pleasurable experience. Some roads have appeared, but their safety leaves much to be desired. Take the sad <laughs> story Love how everyone is standing up, nobody's sitting down. Ralton. He set off to those lands and hasn't been seen since. His brother, Idrist, went to find the poor fellow, and what happened? He returned empty-handed. Tormund seems to have vanished into thin air, like hundreds of travelers before him. At least Idrist was lucky, I suppose. 
he managed to come back alive. That's certainly considered fortunate for those who decide to swing through those lands. And the hunt the Baroness put on, clearly imitating my tournament? It was beyond description. While guests were out hunting hydras and owl bears, the latter came from behind and ate at the banquet table, along with all the servants. <laughs> Some celebration, right? Okay, so I can do intimidate, which is almost impossible to pass. I can do bluff, which is. I can just do stay quiet. All I really wanted to get at was that Her Highness is a personage truly as extraordinary as her lands. And I'm happy to see her at this celebration. And now it's time to announce the winner of the tournament. Yeah, it's probably not me. Please restrain your anger, but this year the prize will be staying here. The winner of the most contests was the team from Pitax. I must say, I was hoping that this year our debutante, my friend here, would show her worth. But nope. I suppose <laughs> it would be strange to expect her to display more talent during the contest than she does ruling her tiny country. Well, I can't do anything here. These checks are way too high. Oh, well, why attract any more attention to a group of losers than they deserve? And now, with the competition over and the prize awarded, let's get on with the main part of the celebration. The banquet! I can hear your stomachs growling from here. Let's get to the table, and later we'll see an unforgettable fireworks show! Okay. 